my dear friends today let's go to answer one project oriented question this is the new type of question that is being asked according to the recent ncert syllabus and it is a very easy question where one can take five marks out of five and a passage will be given or a, a passage of some statements will be given and some five questions are set on that and you have to answer in a sentence or a word or a phrase that is very very easy and the the question that we are answering seems to be a compulsory question because it has appeared in almost all the final examinations of secondary pc economics and this question or passage is concerned with the second chapter that is consumer behavior and you know with what does it start it starts with certain statements you know consumer is going to purchase or consume two goods namely bananas and mangoes and the price of banana is rupees 4 and the price of mango each mango is rupees 5 and the consumer's income is rupees 5 sorry 20 with this 20 he has to purchase both bananas and mangoes so that that is the thing consumer a consumer wants to consume two goods bananas and mangoes and the price of each banana is rupees 4 and the price of each mango is rupees 5 and the consumer's income is rupees 20 these are the statements you can very well recall it again the consumer is going to consume two goods that is bananas and mangoes the price of each banana is rupees 4 the price of each mango is rupees 5 and the consumer's income is 20 with this there are certain questions first question is so each question carries one mark how many bananas can he or she purchase if the entire income is spent if the entire income of rupees 20 is spent on the purchase of banana how many bananas he can purchase it's very simple what's the income income of the consumer it is 20 what is the price of banana it is 5 so divide 20 by 5 sorry 4 the price of banana is 4 divide it divide 20 by 4 you will get 5 so the consumer can purchase can consume for you bananas if you just write five you will be given one mark right if you just write five the number five you will be given one mark then if the entire income is spent on the purchase of mangoes how many mangoes can he purchase very simple you go go for the income now see 20 income is 20 and the price of mango is five and he can purchase four mangoes so four for the answer is four for question question number 2 and it is five for question number 1 got it coming to the third one is the slope of the budget line is the slope of the budget line downward or upward is the slope of the budget line downward or upward you know the feature of budget line budget line goes on diminishing 
It's a straight line. See, it will be like this. Budget line. A, B is the budget line. So it slopes downwards. It does not slope upwards. You have to write, it slopes downwards. Right. It will be like this. It does mean, as you go for one commodity, you will have to forgo the other commodity. When you increase the consumption of one commodity, you have to sacrifice the other commodity. Because there is a budget constraint. That is why the budget line slopes downwards. That you should, you need not write all those things. Just write this downwards. Okay, that's question number three. Question number four. Are the bundles on the budget line equal to the consumer's income or not? Yes, the combinations of two goods whose cost is equal to the income of the consumer. So the cost of the combination of the goods, two goods, is equal to the income of the consumer. That is why we say M is equal to P1 X1 plus P2 X2. So the cost of the combinations is equal to the income of the budget. That's why are the bundles. You see, these things are to be answered with yes or no. Are the bundles on the budget line equal to the consumer's income or not? You have to say yes. The answer should be yes. Please see. And for the fifth question, if you want to have more of bananas, you have to give up mangoes. Is it true? Yes, it is true. If you write yes, no problem. Yes. Please see. The answers are very simple. For the first question, you write 5. For the second question, you write 4. Third question, downwards. Fourth question, yes. Fifth question, yes. It is true. It is true. You can, you can write true. So, it is very, very easy. And it is important because it has appeared in all the examinations. And there will be, there will be this question under section E, part E. See, in economics, there are parts like A, B, C, D, E. A, it constitutes one mark questions. B, there will be two mass questions. C, there will be four mass questions. And in D, there will be six mass questions. And in under E, there will be five mass questions. So three questions will be asked. Project oriented question. There will be three project oriented questions. You are supposed to answer only two. That means you will be given ten. Ten. Right? So Please be careful, you understand this. It is very, very easy. How many bananas he can purchase? He can purchase five bananas. How many mangoes he can purchase? He can purchase four mangoes. And is the slope of the budget line downward sloping? It is downward sloping, it is not upward sloping. Or are the bundles on the budget line equal to the consumer's income or not? Yes. And if you want to have more of bananas, you have to give up the consumption of mangoes. Is it true? Yes, it is true. If you write these answers, you will be given 5 out of 5. Okay? Thank you.